Welcome to Wonder Time. Today we're going to talk about the Trinity. Now I'm going to tell you some words, and I want you to think about what do these words have in common. And once you figure it out, I want you to wave your hands in the air like this. You ready? Tricycle, triangle, and triple. I wonder what do these words have in common? Think about how many wheels are on a tricycle. How many sides and corners does a triangle have? And how many scoops of ice cream would you get if you got a triple? The answer is three. They all have something to do with three. A tricycle has three wheels. Triangle has three sides and three corners. And a triple means three. Another very important word also has to do with the number three. It's called the Trinity. Trinity is a very important word that describes who God is. God is one God existing in three persons: God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. I want you to say it with me: God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Great job! I know you're probably a little bit confused about this Trinity, so I'm going to um. Give you some phrases that'll help us better understand about what it means that God is three persons existing in as one. So the first phrase it says, "The Trinity is the one true God." All three persons of the Trinity—God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit—are all God. There are not three gods. It is, and it is a mystery that you and I have、uh, believe. We believe by faith. Because it is written in the Bible, and we believe that the Bible is all true. The second phrase says, "The Trinity is completely unique." That means there is no one like God. He is so different from human beings that we cannot understand him sometimes. And even though we cannot fully understand God,、um, is three in one, we can know that it is true because it is written in the Bible. The third phrase says the Trinity is equal. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are all equal. No one is greater or better than the other. They all perfectly agree. The final phrase says the Trinity is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. God the Father sent God the Son, Jesus. To Earth, to be the Savior of the world, and God the Holy Spirit is the Helper Jesus promised would come to help those who have believed on Jesus as their Savior. The moment you believe on Jesus as your Savior, God the Holy Spirit comes to live within you. You can't see Him or touch Him, but He is there. In Ephesians chapter one verse thirteen, it says. When you believed, you were marked in Him with the seal, the promised Holy Spirit. God the Father sealed you with the with His Holy Spirit. That means God says you are mine. The Holy Spirit is there to help you every day to be more and more like Jesus, um, and less and less like the sinful person you were before you believed on Jesus. God the Holy Spirit lives in you to help you understand what you read in the Bible. So the next time when you read the Bible, pray and ask God, the Holy Spirit, to help you understand, or even show you new things that you haven't thought of before. You know, sometimes I read the same Bible story, like the story of Joseph or the story of David and Goliath, and each time I read, I learn something new. So the next time you go to read, I want you to pray and ask God, the Holy Spirit that that is within you, to help you understand the Bible. So I want you to say it with me: The Holy Spirit is the helper.